Okay, so this is section <clears throat> eight two homework. So we start with problem number five, and um, so we're doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication by a scale. So the two matrices that we have, these are both two by two matrices. So that's matrix A and matrix B. is that. So part A <laughs> asks us to do A plus B. So when you add matrices together, for one thing, they have to be the same dimensions. And you just add the corresponding elements in the matrix. So this is first row, first column, first row, first column. So we add those together. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. <clears throat> negative 1 plus 8 is 7. So that's the first part. Then we have A minus B. So we just subtract or we add the additive inverse of these numbers. <clears throat> so 1 plus a negative 2 or 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus A minus a, so what we do is we change the um, sign, additive inverse of negative one is positive one. So <clears throat> we have negative one plus positive one, get zero. Uh, two, change the, in, you know, the additive inverse of that. Well, let, actually, let's, let's just, what is minus B? Well, that's the additive inverse. So you change everything to change the signs. So that would be negative B would be just multiply everything by negative one. <clears throat> and so when I add these two together, A plus a negative B, I get two plus negative one, which is, I get one plus negative two, which is negative one. Negative one plus one is zero. <clears throat> two plus one is three. And negative 1 plus negative 8 <coughs> is negative 9. C is just 3 times matrix A. So when you, you multiply a scalar times a matrix, you just multiply every term inside the matrix by the value. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. <coughs> and the final one is, uh, we've got 3a, so let's do 5 times b, because that's, or 2 times b, minus 2b. So what we'll do is um, negative 2b. You take your B matrix and you multiply by negative 2 each term. So this becomes negative 4, positive 2, positive 2, negative 16. So that's negative 2B. <clears throat> so if we take 3A plus negative 2B, which is the same as minus 2B, What we're looking at is uh, 3a, the matrix 3a is 3 minus 3, 6 minus 3. Uh, we add negative 2b, <coughs> which is negative 4, 2, 2, negative 16. So 4 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. 6 plus 2 is 8. And negative 3 plus negative 16 is negative 19. <coughs> okay, so let's just look at the answer. This is an odd problem. And section 8.2, so 
let's check with it out here. So A <coughs> part A Did I write these things down right? One, negative one, two, negative one, two, negative one. Okay, I did that. And the first problem was A plus B. Oh, yeah, I did it. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong place. <coughs> so this is this is the answer for A, which is correct. <coughs> this is the answer for B, which is correct. This is the answer for C, which is correct. And this is the answer for D, which is correct. OK, so they're all good. OK, the next one's similar. <coughs> we just got a little bit bigger matrix, matrices. So A is uh, five rows and two columns. <coughs> Actually, five, two rows and five columns. So we have two, two, negative one, zero, one. And we have one, one, negative two, zero, negative one. So that's matrix A. Matrix B has to be the same size if you're going to add it. So that's one, one negative 1, 1, 0, negative 3, 4, 9, negative 6, negative 7. <coughs> okay, so first one is A plus B. So it's going to be the same size matrix. And we just add the, the corresponding terms. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2, <clears throat> 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, then we go to the second row, 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, 1 plus 4 is 5, negative 2 plus 9 is 7, 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6, and negative 1 plus negative 7 is negative 8. <clears throat> okay, B is, well, let's do the, the additive inverse of B. So we just change the sign of all the elements of this set. Okay, so that's that's negative b. So if we take a minus b, that's the same as a plus negative b, and what we'll end up with is, again, the same size matrix. <coughs> so we're going to take this plus that. So here we have 2 plus a negative 1, so that's 1. Here we had 2 plus 1 is 3, so, okay. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. Negative 1 and 1 is 0. 0 and negative 1 is negative 1. 1 and 0 is 1. Now go to the second row. 1 and 3 is 4. 1 and negative 4 is negative 3. Negative 2 and negative 9 is negative 11. 0 and 6 is 6. Negative 1 and 7 is 6. <coughs> C is uh, 3A. So we just take matrix A multiply everything by 3. So I'm going to be luck up here and I'm going to write down there. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Um, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 0 times 3 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So that's that. <coughs> uh, for the second part, I need I need negative two b. Well, I have negative b here, so I could just double those. So you get negative two, negative two. I'm just going to go along here. Two, negative two, zero, 
and then we do the lower row. So that's 6, negative 8, negative 18, 12, 14. <clears throat> and so 3a minus 2b is, again, the same size matrix. So we just add this plus that, which is 4. This plus that, which is 4. These two, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 9, negative 5, negative 24, 12, 11. So let's just take a look here. So that was number 9. <clears throat> Let me just check the last one. If I got that right, I probably got all the others right. Yeah, looks good. <clears throat> Next problem, number 10. So here we have a, we have A is, this is a, Five rows and three columns. <clears throat> the hardest part is just keeping concentrating enough. It's when you don't need to be doing multitasking. That's matrix A, <clears throat> matrix B, same size. Okay, so those are the two matrices. So part A, we add the two matrices together. So again, we just have to go here, down to there, make our matrix big enough so we can fill this thing in. <clears throat> so I'm going to just look at them. I'm going to start in the top row. If you st need to stop and figure out where you went wrong, And sometimes it's best to just go back and double check at the end. So it's easy to <coughs> make a mistake if you're not concentrating. And I just saw one mistake right there. That one, five and 10. 15. Okay, so that looks right. Okay, um, what is negative B? So we'll just take B and we'll change the sign of each one of them each element. Okay, so there's there's A. We're going to do A plus negative B. Same as A minus B. And again, same kind of, uh, same size little matrix. In this case, I'm going to compare these two. Okay, 
So that's what I got. I'm just going to go back and double check my results. <clears throat> okay, so that one looks correct. And I'm just going to go ahead and just check these out before we go too far because they're, they're big, big matrices and I don't want to make a mistake. I did make a mistake, didn't I? So this one and that one is not negative. Okay, let's go back and check the first answer. Okay, good. Okay, part C is 3A. That one's easy. So we just take this one, multiply everything, every term by 3. And we need negative 2b, so let's go ahead and do that for the last part. So we take this one, multiply it by 2, and change the sign. So again, double check. Okay, that looks correct. And now we're going to do 3a plus negative 2b, which is the same as 3a minus 2b. <clears throat> so we again go to the corresponding positions in the matrix. Negative 3 plus 6 is 3. 12 plus negative 10 is 2. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And I'm just going to do the rest of them. That's the final part. <clears throat> and um, let's check the answer. Okay, so that was number 10. So 3, 2, negative 2, 5, 2, 20. Okay, so that's good. Okay, moving onward. Number 
So it says find AB, A times B, if possible. So we have A as 0, 1, 3, negative 2, 6, 13, 8, negative 17. And it's multiplied by the matrix 1, 6, 2, 4, 2. So I'm not sure if you can actually multiply this one together because typically you would take this and multiply it by that and this multiplied by that but then we got these extra two things that are are not used in any way so so that's correct it's not possible there is some kind of rule you know an m and n different rules let's see if we can figure out what the rule is by looking back in the Yeah, so you have an M by N and an N by P. So in our particular case, this is um, in its rows and columns. So this is a two by four, two rows by four columns. And that's multiplying a two by two. And these two have to be the same. So for example, if I did it the other way, if I had B times A, I could do that. And the way that would work, I think. Can you do that? So in this case, you'd have a 2 by 2 multiplying a 2 by 4. And the result is the outside. So the answer would be a 2 by 4. So let's write these numbers in. So 1, 0, 3, negative 2, 6, 13. 8, negative 17. So, hmm. So it st still doesn't seem like it's working. I mean, it should. So let's see how this thing works. I'm gonna just pause for a second. Okay, so it took me a while to remember how to do this, but um, what you would do in this case is you take 1 times 1 plus 6 times 6, which would be 37. Then you do 1 times 0, 13 times 6, which would be 78. 1 times 3 plus 4 times 8, so the 48 plus 3 would be 51. 1 times negative 2, which would be negative 2. This is negative uh, 102, so that would be negative 104. And then for the bottom row, you take this times that plus that times that, so you'd have 4 times 1 plus 12. 4 plus 12 is 16. Then you'd have 4 times 0 plus 13 times 2, which would be 26. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 16. 12 plus 16 is 28. And then 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. And then you have a negative 34, negative 34, and 8 is negative 42. So that would work. But in this case, this one's just not going to work. It's not the right dimensions, combination of dimensions. OK, so let's look at 31. So 
So we have a three by three multiplied by a three by three, which is good because that's, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just write them out next to each other. It's easier, it'll be easier to look at. So this is uh, 31. So you get one, zero, 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 four, zero, 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 negative two. And I'm multiplying that by three, zero, 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 negative one, zero, 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 five. And the resulting matrix is three by three. So the upper part right here, you take this times that, plus that times that, plus that times that, which is three. Then you take the top row and the second column, and that'll give you this entry. So you get zero, zero, zero. Then to get this entry, you take the top row and the furthest column. So that's zero, zero, zero. Now we go to the second row, multiply that by the first column. So you get zero, zero, zero. Then you do the second row and second column. So you get zero, negative four, zero. So it's negative four. And then uh, this entry, you take this row in this column. So you get zero, zero, zero. Okay, next thing is you take, to get the lower row, you start with the lower row here and you multiply the, the last row versus the first column. So you get zero, zero, zero. Then you do this third row with the second column. So you compare, multiply these two together, those two together, those two together, which you add them up and you get zero. And then the final one is you take the last row and the last column. So you get zero, zero, and negative 10. So that's, that's the procedure. Okay, 51A. So there it says, write a system of linear equations as a matrix operation. Use the Gauss-Jordan elimination of the augmented matrix to solve the matrix X. Okay. It says A, which actually says just write each system of linear equations as a matrix equation. But we can go ahead and use the uh, Gaussian Jordan elimination. We'll go ahead and do that second part. Okay, so the original equation is negative x1 plus x2 is equal to 4 and negative x1 plus x2 equals zero. So the matrix form is you take the coefficients in front of each term and that is multiplied by x1, x2. That's that's the solution matrix, the answer. And then the right hand side becomes four and zero. So negative one, one, negative two, one. Now the augmented, it says use the augmented matrix, so you, t you write down the original coefficient matrix and then you write in the four and zero part. And the idea is for Gauss-Jordan elimination, you want to get one, zero, zero, one, and then the answers are over here. So the first thing that I would do is I would multiply the first row by negative one. Okay, next thing you do is you want to eliminate this row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the take the first row, multiply by 2. So I'll get 2, negative 2, um, negative 8. Then I add that to the second row. I add these two together. The first row multiplied by 2 added to the second row. I'll get 0, negative 1, negative 8. So now my augmented matrix is 1, negative 1, negative 4, 0, negative 1, negative 8. Uh, 
Okay, now I need to get a 1 here and a 0 there. So the, the easiest step, next step, would just be to take the fourth, the second row, and to multiply it by negative 1. So I change the sign of everything. And then I want to get a 0 here, so all I have to really do is just add the second row to the first row. So what I'm going to do is take the first row, add the second row, and you get 1 and 0 is 1. Negative 1 and 1 is 0. Negative 4 and 8 is 4. So the final augmented matrix is going to be 1, 0, 4, 0, 1, 8. And from that matrix, we know that x1 is equal to 4, and x2 is equal to 8. And then we can go back and just check it out. So it says negative x1 plus x2 equals 4. Is that true? Negative 4, negative the quantity 4, plus 8 does equal 4. So let's check. That's the first one. And then the second equation is 2x1 plus x2 equals 0. So if I take 2 times negative 2 times 4 plus x2, which is 8, I get 0. And that is checks. So that is the solution to that equation, or that series of equations. OK. OK, next one. One more like this, 55a. But we'll do the whole thing. So we've got x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 9 minus x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 equals negative 6 and 2x1 minus 5x2 plus 5x3 equals 17. Make sure I have all that right before I continue on. Okay, so the matrix version is again you take the, the coefficients and they're all, you know, we have x1, x2, x3, so everything's in the right place to make this matrix up. So these are all the coefficients in front of the different terms in the three equations. And what we're doing is we're multiplying that times x1, x2, x3, and the matrix here is 9, negative 6, 17. So if I take 1 times that, plus negative 2 times that, plus 3 times that, that should equal 9. That's what the first equation is. This is a 3 by 3 multiplied by a 3 by 1. That means it's going to be a 3 by 1, which is what it is in terms of the dimensions. Okay, now what we do is we take, we create the augmented matrix by taking the coefficient matrix and augmenting it with the right hand side values. And now we have to make it go 0, 1, 1, 1 on the diagonal, and 0 is everywhere else, and then the solutions will be in that last column. So this one's good. It's already got 1 in the first place. So my first operation is I'm going to add, I'm going to take the second row, which I'm going to modify. And I want to make this go to 0. So all I have to do is just add the first row to the second row. So this is the first row. And I add those two together. So that goes to 0, which is what I'm looking for. That becomes 1. That becomes 2. This becomes 3. So our new matrix is going to be 1 negative 2, 3, 9, and then we use this new one, which is 1, 0, 1, 2, 
three. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the, the next one is to get this to go to zero. I'm going to multiply the first, first row by um, negative two. Well, yep. So I'm going to multiply the first row by, um, and the reason I'm doing that first is because I, so I can see these, do these things both on the same page. So I'm going to take the uh, first row and I'm going to multiply it by negative two. So I'm going to get negative two, four, negative six, negative 18. So it's just these numbers multiplied by negative two should give me that. Then I'm going to add it to the third row, 2, negative 5, 5, 17. So we add those two rows together. We get 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So that's my new third row, is 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, the next thing is to get this to be... Um, zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these two rows together and make that the new third row. So I'll take one, zero, one, two, three, which is the second row. I'll add it to the third row. So this zero plus zero is zero. One plus negative one is zero. Two plus negative one is one. Three plus negative one is two. So at that point, what I can do is rewrite the first two rows the same. And the third row becomes the new result. So I get 0, 0, 1, 2. So at this point, I know that x3 is 2. And I could use back substitution, but the Gauss-Jordan technique basically does that for you. So now what I'm going to do is I want to replace the second row. So I have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So to do that, I'm going to take the fourth row and multiply it by negative 2. And then I'm going to add that to the second row. So when I add that, I get 0, 1, 0, negative 1. So now the matrix is 1, negative 2, 3, 9, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 2. So at this point, I know that x2 is negative 1. And then I need to go through two more steps to eliminate these two numbers. So I'm going to use this one to eliminate that. I'm going to use this one to eliminate that. So let's take the, we'll take the third row. We're going to go multiply by negative 3. So this row divided by negative 3, and I'm going to add it to the first row. And the whole idea is to eliminate, make, make this go to 0. like that. So now the matrix is going to be 1, negative 2, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 2. And then the final step is to make this go to 0. So to do that, I'm going to take the second row, I'm going to multiply by 2, and I'm going to add that to the first row. So I'll take this times 2, add it to the first row. And I see I've made a mistake here. I'm going to write that down. So when I add these, I'll get 1, 0, 0, 1. So my final augmented matrix is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 2. So I've got this 1 at the diagonal, z everywhere else in this 3 by 3 part of it. What that means is x1 equals 1, x2 equals negative 1, 
x3 equals 2. So let's just try one of the equations and confirm that it works. So, and if this one works, the other one's going to work. So what it says is this is supposed to be true. So let's put the numbers in. So we put 1 minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1. Oh, pardon me. 3 times 2. So x1 is 1, x2 is negative 1, x3 is 2. So this is 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. So that works. So that is the way those problems work.